For more than 400 years, clay tobacco pipes have been made in England. Today, John Pollock and Son of Manchester are the last remaining manufacturers. The business, which was started in 1879, is now run by Gordon Pollock. For almost 60 years, Gordon has been making clay pipes, and now, long past retirement age, he's concerned about the future of the business. In view of our trading and good personal relationship, I have to tell you that I am now considering retiring. Honestly, I do not want to do so, as my life revolves around clay pipes, and it will be very sad when British clay pipes production on a business scale is no more. As you know, Larry, the smoker's market is a bit limited now. Craft trades like mine are becoming few and far between. I don't want to close the business, which, as you know, was started by my grandfather in 1879. After three generations, I can't let it go. I'm never happier than when I'm in the factory. It might look a little chaotic to some, but I know where most things are. I keep good stocks, but that in itself ties up money. But then, what's money? I think the work keeps me fit. Mixing the clay is fairly heavy work, but it hasn't done me any harm. My old pug mill looks a little bit ancient now, but it still gets the clay to the right consistency. One of my biggest assets is the trained skills of my staff. Dennis and Norma do most of the initial rolling. It's getting the right amount of clay in your nip. That is the amount of clay that you get in one hand from your ball of clay. <coughs> and then you halve it so that you've got two nips, one in each hand, and you roll both hands at the same time. But well, that only comes with experience. You've got to be uh, particularly careful, careful as to uh, the temper of the clay. Yeah, if, if it's stiffish, you need more pressure. The longer the pipe, the more chance there is of not getting uh, a proper roll. You know, meet it with faults, too thick, too thin, too stiff, too soft. Anything can happen. Only experience that uh, it tells you whether you're correct or not. I've trained everybody. Norma. Now, I taught her, it must be about 14 years ago. And by Joe, she's got a lovely style. We uh, have to wait, uh, what, a day, two, three, four, sometimes. It depends 
and uh, the thickness of the pipe, the thicker the pipe, the, the longer it takes to dry out, then uh, of course we have to duck them in water, uh, which softens the outside of the clay, but leaves the inside still stiff. Uh, we call it uh, retaining a, a bone in it, just like uh, your finger. I always try not to have any jealousy with my girls, so I've got to say that uh, Helen is as near perfect as you'll get. I've been here nearly 20 years. It might seem boring to other people, but I, I still enjoy my work. What I'm doing now, I'm pulling the roll onto the wire, which I'm placing into the metal mould, which is then placed into the chest, which is like a press. And then the handle comes down with a stopper, and it makes the bowl. The bowl is formed. And I pull the, the wire out, right out of the pipe. The pipe is placed onto the board, which is then left to dry. And then maybe it's Dennis's wife. She takes all the excess clay off what's round the pipe. We call this finishing. Dennis and I are both over 70, but we still work every day. Keeps us young. Well, at least I think it does. I love my work here and treat each pipe as though it was the only one. And I often wonder who will eventually buy it and where it will end up. It gives a great thrill when I see the pipes on the television and I say to Dennis, you made that one and I finished it and Norma tipped it. And it does give you a thrill to think how far and how many people are going to see those pipes that we have actually all taken part in making. They turn up in plays and films and sometimes even on a comedy show. We all have a hand in making every pipe. Gordon handles every one as he prepares them for the kiln. And then of course we see the results when the kiln is finished and they're all brought in for Norma to finish, and then off they go on their voyage. I've never thought about me having know-how, but I suppose that as well as the clay mixing process, the filing process needs some skill as well. I'm filling this sega, as we call it, with dried pipes. I can put different types together as long as they're about the same size. They all need the same filing time. Once fired, the pipes are unaffected by water, fire and decay. That's why they're often dug up years later in people's gardens, perhaps broken, but in otherwise good condition. The final job of tipping is done by Norma. You have to be quite versatile here with it being such a small firm. 
it's best that everybody learns to do a little bit of everyone else's job. And then if any, ever, any time anyone's off, there's always someone to stand in and help out. It's an essential part of the job, painting the, t the tip of the stem, which is one of the jobs that I do. If it's not done, it obviously sticks to the smoker's lips. Well, we're, we're no different to uh, any other factory. Uh, every now and again, uh, we like to down tools and have a nice cup of tea. You don't get very far without. And you see, uh, we're more or less uh, like a family. And uh, uh, we all know uh, one another's business as well as uh, the work. <laughs> we, we do get a... Uh, a slight uh, bit of dust, uh, but it's nothing in reality, but we do like a cup of tea. A cup of tea really works wonders. I also do quite a bit of the packing, although Gordon does most of the large stuff, I do the individual side of it, which is quite interesting. This little gem is a replica of an Elizabethan pipe. We all wonder about the future though. Gordon has a lot on his mind sometimes, but he just loves his pipes. Well, Larry, you may well ask, all this got to do with me? To which I can only say I don't really know. I started off just to tell you my thoughts, but then felt I had to go into more detail. To be quite honest, as I progressed with the letter, I could not help thinking that you may think of something. What am I to do, Larry? I've lived with these pipes all my life, I know them all, they're like old friends, and I need them, and they need me. I can't bear to think of this being no more. I live in the hope that someone will come along and appreciate them like me. And to see this business continue really is my pipe dream. <laughs>